A woman lies in labor pains at home in a village. Her husband and some people are waiting for the birth of the baby. Her husband is very tense. After some time the baby's cry is heard and everyone dances with joy. The delivery woman came out and said, The birth is a girl. And everyone falls silent in despair. And in the next scene, we see people standing near a big bowl full of milk. The father held the baby girl in his hand and said, Next year a boy will be born. Then the baby is killed by drowning in milk. For years, female babies have been aborted or killed in that village. The reason for this is the dowry system. The people of that village consider baby girls a curse. In the next scene, we see a man dressed as a woman dancing on stage. All the men of that village are enjoying the dance. Now there is not a single girl in that village. Ramcharan is the rich man of that village. He has five sons. His wife was dead and his sons were not married. They have a servant in their house. His name is Raku. The elder son Rakish is very angry with his father for not getting married. Ramcharan and the local priest have been trying for ten years for their marriage. They have not been able to find a bride because there are no baby girls in that country. At night people go to a small house and pay to watch porn. Because people there don't see women. Ramcharan's elder son Rajesh is also there to watch the film. Everyone is watching the movie with great passion. After halftime, Rakish went out of control. He went to the cowshed. Rajesh fulfilled his lust in a cow. There are problems in Ramcharan's family as his sons are not getting married. Except for the youngest son Suraj. The other sons did not eat and express their displeasure to Ramcharan. Rajesh's friend confirmed Papu's marriage. His father found a bride from another village. A wedding takes place in that village after 15 years. Rakish angrily informs his father and the priest about this. Rakish is worried about not getting a bride. Papu's wedding is going on with much celebration. People are all eagerly looking at his bride. The priest started the wedding ceremony. During the ceremony, Papu's father gave the girl's father money and two cows as a wedding reward. Meanwhile, Someone said something to the priest. In the middle of the ceremony, the girl's father left without being seen. During the ceremony, the priest pulled down the bride's skirt. Everyone saw it with shock. It's a boy. Papu and his father were defrauded very skillfully. Seeing that, the villagers laughed. The priest went to the next village to perform the rituals. He stayed in that house after his deeds. The next morning, the priest heard the voice of a young woman by the river. The priest followed the voice. Finally. The priest saw a beautiful young woman sitting on the branch of a tree and singing. The priest stared at her for a while in surprise. She saw the priest. She immediately ran home. The priest goes after her and finds her house. Her name is Kalki. Priest meets Kalki's father and talks to him. He is raising his daughter in hiding without killing her. He told the priest that he wanted to marry off his daughter to a good son of a good family. The priest told him that he would give him any amount of money apart from the groom who was born into a good family. The girl's father agreed. The priest quickly conveyed this information to Ramcharan. Ramcharan said he wanted to see the girl immediately. His elder son Rakish was not at home. He took his younger son Suraj and left to meet the girl. They saw the girl in her father. Rakish's photograph was shown to the girl's father. After seeing the photo, the girl's father said, Your eldest son is too old. My daughter will not like it. Then Ramcharan said that. He will give two cows along with one lakh rupees. The girl's father said, I agree to the marriage, but only with your youngest son. Then Ramcharan gives a large sum of money to the girl's father, then arranges the marriage with the five sons. Kalki was married to five men. On the night after the wedding, Ramcharan and his five sons are happily drinking. Rajesh is sharing the nights to spend with Kalki for everyone. After that, there are two days left in the week. Ron others told Rajesh to spend those remaining two days with Kalki as the elder brother. Hearing this Ramcharan gets very emotional and says, After your mother's death I am your mother and father. I have lived for you. I spent money and wealth on you. What did you give me in return? I expected some mercy and love from you. On hearing this, Rajesh asked, What do you want father? In the next scene, we see Ramcharan opening the door to Kalki's bedroom. They gave a day to their father. Kalki was sexually abused by her husband's father on the first night of their marriage. It was dawn. Kalki got up crying. Ramcharan was sleeping next to him. Kalki came out of the room. Rakish came to meet her the next night. He physically abused her. Her days were spent milking cows and doing housework. Every night each of the sons physically abused her. Suraj helped her with the housework during the day. She was treated very lovingly during the night reserved for Suraj. She also felt love for Suraj. One by one came every night and sexually assaulted her. She was happy only on the nights when Suraj came. They loved each other. The next night Ramcharan comes but Kalki does not allow him to touch her body. Ramcharan got angry and left. 
The love relationship between Kalki and Suraj grows. Suraj read books to Kalaki, tried to teach her. During the day they did housework together. They fell in love. Others were watching their love conversations. They didn't like Kalki spend more time with Suraj. Other family members stopped eating with them. Suraj's father beat him saying that. Lack of attention in college studies. Kalki was very sad to see it. Kalki hugged him. The other sons were secretly watching all this. They felt a grudge against Suraj. His elder brothers killed him by beating him from behind while returning from college. Kalki was completely devastated after hearing this. She was exhausted and sat in the bedroom and cried. Then Rakish came and sexually assaulted her. Kalki gives a letter from Raghu to her father to post. Her father came as soon as he got the letter. Father is no longer a farmer. He became a businessman with the money he got from Kalki's marriage. He did not come to solve his daughter's problems. He asked for more money and said that Ramchurin was having physical relations with Kalki without paying him. Ramchurin gave the money. Kalki also lost hope in her father. Kalki's father returned. They beat Kalki brutally for writing a letter to her father. Raghu was the only person she had to talk to at home. She tells Raghu I want to go home. In the morning, both of them left without seeing anyone. They crossed the village river and ran through the fields, finally reached the road. While Raghu Kalki was running as fast as he could on the road, Ramcharan's son shot Raghu from behind. Raghu fell down and was killed by one of the swords. Seeing this, Kalki fainted on the ground. Accusing her of eloping with a low-caste servant, they chained Kalki to the cowshed. Raghu's dead body was given to his relatives and he has only one elder brother. Brother is a mentally retarded person. Raghu's elder brother and uncle also went to Ram Charan's house to take revenge on the sons of Ram Charan who killed Raghu. That's when he saw Kalki lying in the stable. Uncle rapes Kalki saying Raghu was killed because of you. Raghu was replaced by a new servant boy. His name is Sukka. Sukka came to the stable and saw Kalki and gave her food. Raghu's uncle calls the people of their community to pay for Raghu's murder. The same uncle brutally rapes Kalki every night. Ram Charan tells priests to find another girl for them. Priest said, it is not possible to find another girl and brought Kalki home from the stable. Ramcharan said, I will not bring home a woman who ran away with a servant. The same Ramacharan sons also came to the stable at night and raped her. Sukka very mercifully took care of her and provided her with food. Her misery continued. She fell ill. The body is tired. She became pregnant. She was careful not to let anyone see her stomach. He finds out when Rajesh comes to torture her at night. Everyone understands that Kalki is pregnant. The priest greeted everyone. He looked at the horoscope and said it was a boy. When asked what was the father's name along with the child's name, all the five sons said mine. They argued. Then Ramcharan said I am the first person who had physical contact with her. Then I am the father of this child. They brought Kalki home from the stable. They took good care of her in the hope of giving birth to a boy. Meanwhile, in the village, Raghu's uncle is celebrating by saying that the father of Kalki's baby is Raghu's brother. But Raghu's elder brother had no physical relationship with Kalki. They went to Ramcharan's house to free Kalki. Ramcharan and his sons chased them away with guns. Ramcharan's sons first shot and killed Raghu's brother. The villagers split into two groups. Ramcharan's people on one side and villagers on the other side. It turned out to be a terrible riot. Ramcharan and his sons could not fight and win over the villagers. They were killed one by one. Ramcharan tries to kill Kalki while the riot is going on in the village. But Sukka killed Ram by stabbing him with a knife. The priest was also killed in that riot. The village was set on fire. Finally, Kalki gave birth. It's a baby girl. Kalki smiled. The movie ends here. Please like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.